going on? I'm Kasim. It's just sneakers. Back with another review. And today we got the SNS New Balance 237 Blue Racer. Now the 237s are among the newer New Balance models, and you know I must say they kind of been hitting it out the park with these new models. You know they still they keep hints of of the past, but they flip it new like they flip they do just enough that it's new but they still keep it traditional how they always do it so shout out to them new balance came together with sns a frequent collaborator to bring these to life and shout out to sns sneakers and stuff you know i've been rocking with them for a while you know before they had it they got a store here in the city but before they had the store i used to buy things from from their online store and all that so shout out to them you know these released in june 11 2021 and um, they didn't really sell out like fast, but they sold out within, you know, by, by the end of the day, they were gone for the most part, I'd say. You know, so it was a, it was a decent sellout, which is, you know, a surprise because everything just sells out for no apparent reason nowadays. But, you know, that's another discussion for another day. But if you want to pick up a pair, it shouldn't be too hard, you know. Um, resale is not too crazy on these, you know. This is for more for people who's actually into the shoe. You know, you can rock. These are based on the Blue Racer Snake, you know, apparently. You have to, you know, do some research. And, you know, that's why we got like hints of snakeskin on the shoe, which I will be showcasing when we get into these details. Okay, so let's jump straight into these details right now. Start at the toe. We got Harry Suede on the toe and the mud guard throughout. Um, the quality of the suede, you know, it's, it's real, it's real, really hairy suede. You know, when they came out the box, it almost even looked used. But, you know, that's the look they was going for. And we got that running here yeah, on the toe, mid guard, and on these eyelets. On the eyelets, we got the hairy suede running through. Take a look at the toe box. That's like that mesh cordura material, you know, so hard body. And that's like a gray, grayish silver, two different tones of, it's like a gray and a silver right here. You know, we could take a look at the, the end logo. That's a snakeskin, a blue snakeskin with a infrared or pink overlay. You know, that hits real nice. We got Hit it at Harry Suede here. We can move to the back. And we have a darker shade of gray. We have a dark gray here, but it's in that same Harry Suede. And we got the tab up here. New Balance. And a pink, infrared, blue snakeskin. Then look at the tongue. The tongue is mesh. It has SNS on one shoe. And let me pull out the other shoe here. The other shoe has a New Balance logo. One shoe has a New Balance logo, the other has SNS. And oh yeah, one bit about the tongue. As you see, the, the tongue is like uh, destroyed. I don't know how you say it, what, what that's called, but you see it's like not all the way there. Sort of like the CDG Air Force Ones or any of the C CDG collabs as well as New Balance, the protection pack is like that as well. You know, Cordura fabric has that branding on the inside. And these also come with the infrared or pink <laughs> laces. I haven't thrown those in, but you know, I probably will throw those in just to give it some more pop. Take a look at the midsole. You know, classic, classic 70s runner type midsole. The type you'd kind of see across all brands. You know, simple to the point, nice. Outsole, full. Take a look at the insole. Branding blue snakeskin. Pretty much all the details of the shoe. Give you a good 360. Pretty nice and simple, pretty plain. And these are made in China. Um, I believe 
all of the newer models are made in China. Um, newer meaning uh, 237s, 327s, and the 2002Rs. I believe those are all made in China models. But, you know, these still come off well. You know, they come off, you know, really nice. Now for sizing on these. You know what? I'm gonna say true to size or even size up. I originally went half a size down just cause I'm, that's kind of what I lean towards with New Balance and you know, that's, that's what I was getting fillers for. But you know, sizing down was completely the wrong move. So I had copped these and then I had to get a half a size. I copped them in an eight and a half then I went and got a size nine, you know, for the for the swap. And yo, the size nine fits a little snug too. The size nine is definitely a little snug. It's not, it's not really, it's doable, but if I would have copped a nine and a half, I would have been good. So my recommendation is true to size for a snug fit, or you can even size up. I mean, well, half a size up. So you know, take with that what you want. Somebody might have a different experience than me, but that's my experience with these right here. As far as comfort, you know, they're pretty comfortable, but that depends with the sizing you get. You know, I got them in the, the true to size, in my size nine, they're pretty comfortable, but if I had a nine and a half, I, I think they would be more comfortable. Resell on these is pretty humble, you know. Um, I don't even know why I'm talking about resell, because I don't really care too much, but you know, somebody might want to hear that. Not because they're a reseller, because, but somebody might, you know, people want to buy these and whatnot. And, you know, market is the market. You're going to have to pay these prices. So if you're looking at this video, you might want to know that information as well. But yeah, um, you know, these aren't reselling for too, too much. The prices are pretty humble. And, you know, I mean, you can pick yourself up a pair. It ain't retail price, but it ain't, you're not going to get beat over the head, I think, with these. Now my thoughts on these, yeah, I'm rocking with them. Um, this isn't really necessarily like a hype pair or nothing like that, but I don't really go for hype or nothing like that. This is just a pair, you know, I wanted classic or, you know, mostly gray with some good things that make it stand out, you know, the snake skin and whatnot. And, you know, um, this is a good, like, you know, everyday type of shoe, you know, really and truly. It's a good everyday type of shoe, an everyday shoe with some pop in it, you know. Um, SNS, like I said, I rock with SNS, and, you know, a lot of their collabs be dope. Not just New Balance collabs, so whenever they drop something, you know, I'll take a look at it. And 237 is a pair I never owned. And they were fairly cheap, so I, I took a took a chance on them. What do y'all think about these, man? Do y'all any of y'all rocking with these or two three sevens in general? How about three two sevens? Y'all got any of those? I got a pair of three two sevens too. I got uh, the Levi's pair, which came out in 2020. You know, I might still do a review. That's kind of past, but I might still do a review on them because they are a dope pair, and I don't really see that many reviews on them out there. So there you have it, New Balance SNS collab 237 Blue Racer. You know, y'all rocking with them, y'all copping, y'all just passing on the whole model, y'all giving the model a chance. You know, let me know, leave it below. Like, subscribe, shout out to y'all for tuning in. It's just sneakers. Peace.